This is Dr. Daniel Paul, orthopedic surgeon with Easy Orthopedics, and today we're going to talk about the difference between patellar tendonitis and patellar chondromalacia. If you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe. So they sound similar. Patellar in both cases refers to the kneecap, which is people what people commonly call it. Call it. So let's start with patellar tendonitis. So you can think of patellar tendonitis as more of being on the outside of your knee, while patellar chondromalacia is more on the inside of your knee. So with patellar tendonitis, it just means that the patellar tendon, which is the tendon that connects from the bottom of your kneecap to kind of the top of your shin bone, and it helps you extend your leg, it just means that there's, there's some inflammation of that tendon. Um, it doesn't mean it's, it's torn. That would more be a patellar tendon tear, which presents totally differently. When that happens, someone can't extend their knee anymore, and their kneecap kind of pulls upwards, and it's a real trauma. Patellar tendonitis is more what they also call a jumper's knee. It's what someone can get from jumping a lot. And it's just kind of this pain, kind of dead center of the knee, right below the hard part of the kneecap. If you can kind of feel that soft part of the tendon right there, that's patellar tendonitis. Usually the best way to get rid of it is if you can stop the activities that are jumping a lot, that can help, or mostly physical therapy. Or sometimes you can get a knee strap, which may help a little bit to prevent the strain of it. Or sometimes, very rarely, they don't really recommend doing too many steroid injections there. You might be able to get away with one, but it's kind of the last line of treatment. Uh, before surgery if nothing else works. So that's what patellar tendonitis is, mostly from jumping sort of activities. That's when it hurts, hurts right below the, the, the kneecap, right in that soft spot. That's what it is, very much on the outside of the knee. Patellar chondromalacia is on the back side of the kneecap, which means that the kneecap, so when you walk or you do stairs, the, knee, the kneecap goes into a groove on your femur, on your femur called the trochlea. So it kind of glides nicely. It's almost shaped like a V and the kneecaps in there kind of moving in and out. Patellar chondromalacia means that it's not quite moving quite right there and it will cause pain and that there's some cartilage injury to it. Also kind of, if there's no cartilage injury, you might call it patellofemoral syndrome, which is pain in the front of the knee. That hurts a lot with stairs or squatting or if you kind of just grind your kneecap into the back of your knee, which is really something we'll do on physical exam. Not something that most people do in everyday life. So that's a different sort of issue. Steroid injections tend to work pretty well with that one. Um, physical therapy is the mainstay of treatment. If that, doesn't, if that doesn't work, then sometimes people will do a knee scope where they clean it up. Or in real, rare cases, if the, if the groove is not aligned with the, with the kneecap, they'll actually, move, uh, they'll actually move the tibial tubercle to kind of like move the kneecap, which is a much, much bigger procedure called a tibial tubercle osteotomy. But again, most people get better with a steroid injection and some physical therapy. So again, patellar tendonitis, it's the patellar tendon on the outside of the knee, right below the kneecap, patellar chondromalacia on the other side of the kneecap hurts with stairs. So I hope I was able to answer your questions about the difference between patellar tendonitis and patellar chondromalacia. If you have any questions I didn't answer, feel free to leave them in the comments below. And I'll do my best to respond, but I can't give you specific medical advice about you know, what you specifically should do. Um, at least over YouTube. Um, and if you like this video, we put out new content weekly, so please like and subscribe, and thanks for watching.